so we have operator set up and we're, let's record a little loop now. One of the cool things when you're recording MIDI clips is you can enable this overdubbing button, this OVR button. When I'm making a loop, it's just gonna stay red. The clip is still gonna be recording after I'm done with one phrase and I can keep recording stuff over the top. So let's play around with this. So I've already mapped this. This is just like, um, you know, like a cooking show where like you pulled the cookies out of the oven. This is all mapped and then we're set to go, so. All right, so that's our first loop. And notice how it's still, you can see right here, it's still red, so it's still recording. If I look in here, there are all the MIDI notes. Okay, then let's, um, I'll keep this down here so you can see when I record the next phrase. Journey, this is the journey straight to the heart, right, right, right here. Cool. Yay. So that's all just from overdubbing. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is set up a drum rack. And a drum rack allows us to have a sound inside the arrangement view of Ableton, and then we can slice it up and then remap those notes to different notes on the guitar. So let's do that. <clears throat> so I'm gonna make a new audio track. Go to insert audio track or command T. And I've got just the perfect sound waiting for us. The sound of wind. Okay, so it doesn't matter where you drag it because we're not we're not going to be sequencing anything, we're just uh, going to be slicing it. So with this selected, we can go up to the insert menu, go down to slice to new MIDI track, or if you want to be more fancy, you can do uh, control click or right click and go down to slice to new MIDI track. So when you slice this, you can decide what the note value is of the slice and automatically it's going to create a new MIDI track and then um, Put little simplers within that MIDI track. A simpler is a uh, an instrument that takes a slice and then allows you to um, do different things to it, like a sampler. So let's just have like an, a quarter note that looks good. So based on this whole clip that we have here, there's going to be 64 slices that are created. So let's just say okay, and that automatically maps them in here. So then after we slice the sample. Uh, drum rack is automatically set up in a new MIDI track and then we have all these different slices So this is a sound of wind All right, so if I record enable this track and then you, you want to pay attention to the inputs as well So we have all ends and then all channels that are transmitting to this and I want to hit a note This should be working <laughs> so you can take any sound and then map this. So really what you're doing, this is similar to some plugins that I've made before, but it's really way more elegant, is that you can, um, you take the whole sample and then you're just slicing it. When you make your slices, you could slice it up to like, you know, work out the math and make 22 slices. So each slice would be, you know, a fret here if you wanted to. Okay, so after you slice up the sample, then you get the drum rack down here and then all the slices are here to uh, manipulate in different ways. And we could really have a whole episode on a drum rack. It's very, very flexible uh, in new instrument with Ableton 7. So now all of these are gonna to correspond to different notes on my guitar, which again, are being translated into MIDI note numbers sending to Ableton. So 
So playing them all in sequence like that, it's almost just playing the whole, the waveform, but you can do more staccato things too. Yeah. So why would you want to map wind to your guitar? <laughs> to blow people away. So it's been really fun doing this series so far. And I'm really thankful for all the feedback that I'm getting about this. I'm really glad that I can be sharing this information because the more that we share this information about making new kinds of music, then the easier it is for these new structures of music to emerge. And um, yeah, just keep your feedback coming and questions. If you guys have any questions about this, let me know and I'll try to address it in the next episode. Michael, Mikhail, Cardboard Box, Dance Floor, 1-800, 1-900, a small tweak makes a big difference.